Hello, welcome to a video. As you can see, the sun is out, it's beautiful outside. Uh, I'll just pick that up. Summer has hit now the United Kingdom. As you can see, the rabbits. Yeah, really, really nice now, and uh, we've uh, well, I'm hoping it stays. That's what I'm hoping for. Just a quick hi to Phil Steadman. I want to show him something. I um, I got given a gift the other day from my friend Graham. And he'll laugh at this. Uh, um, <laughs> there we go. It's a uh, yeah, it's a two-two rifle. Um, not in the best condition, but it was a, you know, not complaining, it was a gift. Uh, I'm going to do some target practice. I've been given some uh, <laughs> some pellets, uh, so I'm going to join you at some point for the revolution, Phil. And um, we'll both be there <laughs> with our air guns. <laughs> oh dear. I'm not into guns at all, really. No. I had them as a boy. Um, I'm going to close this because of the light. Yeah. Yeah, I had uh, air guns as a boy and uh, wasn't really, you know, kids kids like those things, don't they? Um, what have I been up to? Well, I'm coming to the end of this. Uh, I always have the idea of a video kind of at the end of the bowl. I don't know why. Been smoking, which I'm smoking now, some of this. Uh, a firm favourite, I think. Uh, of course, quite a bit of St Bruno, the ready rubbed, um, which is my staple. Getting to the end of this, a little bit left, Mick McQuaid, that's the plug, which was a favourite of mine, which you can't get anymore. Um, yep, emptied another one into the Frog Morton jar, because I'm enjoying it so much. Um, really, really nice oriental blend, and coming very low, uh, is the uh, is the Frog Morton cellar? Oh, it's down to here. Um, that was another fifty I emptied into there, and there's there's a bit left. There's a bit left. I'll have to open a one of the uh, one of the tins. Um, yeah, I'm coming to the end of this. Anyway, uh, really nice to see. Um, Rob Kimberley saying he would uh, continue le as leader of the UK Pipe and Tobacco Club. He's you know, very, very well respected, Rob is, and uh, really nice guy. It'd be very sad to see him leave, uh, but he's not. He said he's not. I think he went on holiday and he decided, no, I've recharged the batteries, if you like, and uh, he will be uh, continuing as leader of the club, which uh, I, for one, am very pleased about. Yeah, someone said to me, a message, why do you put your fingers over the top of the bowl? Um, so... If you come to the end of the bowl, or the drawer is very loose, like that, if you put your fingers over the top, it tightens the air that comes through. And you can actually get more out of the smoke. That's what I've done anyway. That's, uh, <laughs> you might do it for another reason. Um, but I've always done that, um, coming to the end of the bowl. Yep, 
it's just easier to smoke that way. Um, very pleased. Uh, GQ Tobaccos, which is based in the United Kingdom, a very popular tobacconist, especially with members of the UK Pipe of Tobacco Club, are um, resurrecting some of Glynn's uh, popular uh, boutique blends. Um, um, Clementine's Nip, or, not a favourite of mine, but um, Asquith Mixture. I enjoyed Asquith Cake, which was very, very good. Um, you can get the mixture. Swamp Flower, and I think there's a few aromatics, which uh, weren't my cup of tea, but if you like aromatics, then I'm sure these will be very good indeed. So that's at GQ Tobaccos uh, in the United Kingdom. Not sure if they send overseas. I'm not sure if they'd send to the States, but... Um, you know, it's worth a message, isn't it? Um, so there, Glyn uh, Quelch's very popular, uh, famous blends that he devised and used to sell their back, uh, which is really good. The nice thing as well, well, I, I think it's quite nice, is that um, you get to mix it yourself. So they come in the packets, you empty all the packets into the bowl and you mix it yourself. And then you pour it into the white um, Ziploc bag that they used to come in. Pour it all in there, seal it up um, and leave it to marry. Uh, um, you can leave it for long, as long as you want. And I'm sure it'll be a very, very nice smoke, as it always has been. So that was good news. What am I waiting for? Well, I'm waiting for um, Squadron Leader with Perique. I managed to get two tins of that off smokingpipes.com um, and if you watched my last video I said I've got some pelican on the way as well which will be very good uh, I'm going to cut back now on the uh, t tobacco buying because it's got yes I wanted to make a cellar which I certainly have done I think I'm up to about 180 maybe 190 tins which uh, certainly will do me for I would have thought uh, uh, number of years I haven't quite worked that out how many years but you know if uh, the world comes you know crashing down in the world of tobacco tomorrow and all I can get is uh, maybe some Bruno ready rubbed then that would be sad but you know I'd, I'd, I'd be okay and then I could tuck into my uh, cellar tobacco so I think now, guys, we're saying make sure you start selling tobacco. Uh, I think it's a sensible thing to do. There's going to be a time, and it's not going to be very long, where we can't buy tobacco from the internet. That's the next thing, I believe. Certainly there'd be no US orders or, you know, online tobacconist, which uh, is crazy, really. Uh, there will be ways around it, I'm sure, but... Um, yeah, sad to finish on on that note, but uh, nothing else going on really. I'm working all weekend, so it's my day off today, which is Friday. Um, if you want to get hold of me, the best place is on Facebook. Um, I am really bad at getting back to messages on YouTube unless you ask a question on the latest video. If you ask a question on a very old video that's two years old I tend not to get it um, why I don't know so um, if you want to get in get in touch just uh, Facebook me or leave a message on my latest video thanks everyone I hope you're all well by the way and uh, enjoying the summer if you're in the UK long may it last uh, and thanks for your messages and I wish you a really good weekend and uh, yeah, if you feel Stedman, happy shooting. <laughs> I'm going to do my best to uh, shoot a few of those targets. Uh, let's, let's hope I don't uh, get put in prison. You might not see me again. <laughs> oh, cheers, guys. Take care. Bye.